good morning and thanks for joining us. On today's show, we'll meet an adorable little dog who needs a good home, take a tour of one of the area's more unique museums, and I'll sit down with the kingpin of pop talent, Linda Septian. But we start today talking about men's fashion. There are a lot of places where you can buy nice clothes. Suits that fit any size are easily found, but a suit that not only fits the man, but also his lifestyle and personality? Well, there's really only one place for that. Catherine Dunn has more. When you see a fully stocked bar and widescreen TVs, you don't exactly think clothing store. But Edward Bauman's is not your typical clothing store. According to its founder, Bob Bauman, it's not even about selling clothes. It's about changing lives. When you're dressed nice, when you look nice, people notice you. Edward Bauman Clothiers has been in business for 25 years. We try and um, take the concept of dressing men different than uh, people have ever seen it before. When you come in here, we really have nothing to sell you. Everything is custom made. So we sit down with our clients and in collaboration together, we design the perfect outfit for you, how it's going to be made, and we do everything from what kind of lapel it's going to have, the height of the collar on the shirt, how many buttons on the sleeve. Most of our clothes, 80% of everything we sell is custom made. Uh, it's all made in the United States of America. We're very proud of that. It's the finest quality and um, we actually will make a man look better than he's ever looked before in his life. We have a showroom here in Addison, Texas. Our clients come in here, we sit down and we interview them for 15 minutes or so, and then we take them into one of our private showrooms and we basically show them how we think they should dress for their position, the position have, or more importantly, for the position they want, because that's how you should dress. And so together we design the perfect outfit, then we have it made, and you come back in and we put it on you and it's, we make it fit better than anything you've ever worn. Our customer is really just anybody who um, understands the importance of looking your very best and they want to do it. It's funny because we have, a, yes, we have a lot of CEOs, a lot of presidents of companies. We have our attorneys, our doctors, our CPAs, but we also have a lot of guys in construction. You know, guys that uh, they may want a nice pair of blue jeans. Um, we make custom made cowboy boots and they wear a pair of blue jeans, cowboy boots, and a great dress shirt to the office. There's never a 36 hour of my life that I don't get a text, a phone call, or an email of somebody telling me about an experience they've had and how wonderful it was, and it was because of the new outfit they had on. Edward Bauman is so focused on the individual experience that they are only open by appointment. To find out more about what they offer and to schedule your appointment, go to edwardbauman.com. And after you've picked out some nice clothes, you might want to go have a nice meal somewhere. If it's fresh fish and seafood you're in the mood for, then TJ Seafood Market is the place for you. Tristan Martinez recently dropped by to find out how they've been luring in customers for almost 30 years. Hi everybody, I'm here at TJ Seafood Market and Grill with John Alexis. Now John, can you tell me a little bit about the restaurant? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, TJ's was founded in 1989 as just a fish market. Over the years, gosh, it's been 27 years now, we've expanded to two locations that are both fish markets, restaurants, and catering companies. Both here in Dallas? Both here in Dallas. So one of the things we found for 27 years of being in business is people are intimidated by cooking seafood. Seafood is easy. If you can set a timer, you can cook fish. What we've done is our goal is to take the mystery out of cooking fish. We actually do free grilling classes throughout the year and have a list of uh, tips for perfectly grilled fish. And it's so fun to watch people who are so intimidated by fish take it home, put it on their grill, and actually see how easy it is to cook seafood. So what's really fun about TJ's is the same fresh fish you would take home from the fish market is the fish that we serve in our restaurant as well. Um, you know, some places, uh, if it doesn't sell today in the market, it's tomorrow's blue plate special. We're not that kind of place. We have rotating specials, uh, including um, everything from really crazy chef specials to like, for instance, our salmon special changes every day, or you can get simple grilled fish and pick what sauce and sides that you want with it. And uh, for all these reasons, we were voted uh, best seafood in Dallas in 2015 by D Magazine. Most of the people working behind our fish case are culinary school graduates. They could be working in the finest restaurants in Dallas. Instead, they love being behind our fish case, being that kind of you know, Food Network star come to life to give you 
um, recipes and instructions on how to cook your seafood. All the different components of dishes that you see in our restaurant, we also sell in our fish market. So if you like the pico de gallo that goes on your fish tacos, we sell that. If you like the Caesar salad dressing, all different kinds of fish toppings and salsas and stuff like that. So you can actually, even if you don't feel like cooking, we can send you stuff and you can assemble it at home, which makes it really easy. Our intent is to sell out of seafood every day. There's a big sign behind our fish case that says, don't trust a seafood market that doesn't run out of fish. If we tell you we get fresh fish every single day, then obviously we have to run out of fish occasionally. And that's our goal. We're not trying to have the most fish in our fish case. We're trying to have the freshest fish in our fish case. TJ's has two locations in Dallas and they're open seven days a week. To see their hours of operation, their full menu and more, visit their website at tjseafood.com. Great time on the program, but stay with us. Pet Tales with the SPCA of Texas is coming up next. Today with Candace is brought to you by The Best of Guide. Your blood pressure number has actually two numbers. It's got the systolic blood pressure, which is the top number, and the diastolic blood pressure, which is the lower number. The systolic blood pressure is blood pressure in your arteries when your heart is beating, and the diastolic is when the heart is at rest between beats. Now, in the diastolic time interval, that's when the arteries that nourish the heart muscle are filling up with blood and nourishing the heart muscle. So that's a very important time. Now, there are certain numbers that you need to look for that are too high or too low. Too high on the systolic blood pressure increases your risk of uh, stroke. Too low indicates your risk of passing out. On the diastolic blood pressure, if your number is consistently too high, you're gonna have a greater incidence of heart attacks. If it's too low, that too could cause some problems with poor filling of the coronary arteries and more heart attacks. So it's a really sort of a up and down thing you need to watch so that it's not too high and not too low. See your doctor because the numbers that you need to have for systolic and diastolic are going to be determined by what diseases you have, how old you are, and how well you tolerate certain numbers. In an emergency, your most important need is time. Time saved in the hands of highly trained doctors and experienced emergency nurses. Time saved with advanced imaging and diagnostics to help find a solution quickly. No matter what hour or day, we are here for you. Because when your life is on the line, what matters most is time. Texas General Hospital, we care. Well, it's no secret that this next segment is one of my favorites. Joining me now is Victoria from the SPCA of Texas. Victoria, thanks for being Hi, here. Hi, thank you so much for having us. So tell us about this adorable little guy. This is my buddy. This is Silver hey. Senior, and he is a sweet 10-year-old Chihuahua mix, and he's about 14 pounds, and he is, as you can see, a perfect lap dog, and he's also great on a leash and he loves his belly rubs, and you would never realize that he's actually 10 years old. He's still yeah, full of energy, hey, and yeah. just, he's looking for his forever family. He is so sweet, you are just precious. And I understand he did come from an animal cruelty yeah, rescue. He was part of an animal cruelty situation, so our um, animal cruelty investigations unit went in, and they actually took uh, ownership of Mr. Silver Sr., and now he's with us, and he's looking for his forever home, so Aww. we really want to try and find his new parents. They're out there somewhere. We definitely want to find him a good, loving home. Okay, and I also want to talk to you about, now that the weather's heating up, I think it's a good time for us to talk about how to keep your pets safe in the heat. Yes, yes, the first and foremost, Please do not leave your pets in the car. Even if the windows are open, do not leave the pets in the car because 
they, um, they, they react to heat a little bit differently than humans do, and I mean, they can overheat very, very quickly. Also, you wanna make sure that your animal, if you're gonna have them in the backyard, has proper shade, has water, and is covered, and maybe not keep them out there for too long, especially on the really extra hot days. If you're gonna go take them for walks, make sure you might wanna consider buying booties for them, because if they, their little paws, you know, when they hit the pavement, it can burn their little feet, and you don't want that to happen. Oh, no. So, yeah. Do they make doggy sneakers? They, they make little doggy like booties, and they're adorable. <laughs> oh, I've seen I some people it. with them, and <laughs> they're just too cute. How but fun. you definitely want to protect your pets in the heat and really do your best to make sure your pets are safe. Absolutely. They're part of our family. We want them to stay that way. Well, thanks so much for being here, Victoria. And you guys, be sure to go to the SPCA website to find out about this adorable little cutie. Thanks so much. Thank you. Again, if you'd like to find out more about adopting Silver Senior or one of their other animals in need of a good home, go to SPCA.org. Addison, Texas is well known for its Oktoberfest and Kaboom Town festivals, but it's also home to one of the more interesting museums in the Metroplex. Here's Tristan Martinez with more. When thinking of things to do on the weekend, most people think about the Dallas Art Museum or maybe even the Perot Museum. But for a truly unique look at history, the Kavanaugh Flight Museum in Addison is an amazing place to visit. Joining me now is Doug Jeans, the director of the Kavanaugh Flight Museum. Doug, can you tell me a little bit about the history of this museum? Absolutely. It started in 1993. It was just a small private collection. Uh, we've grown from just a handful of airplanes all the way up to well over 40 now. And uh, what kind of makes us unique is we fly a lot of our airplanes. You can come and purchase a ride, and, and, and some of the airplanes are just very, very rare. We have three more hangars to go look at, so let's go take a look. Sounds good. All right. Now, Tristan, now that you made the climb up here on top of this tank, it's a Sherman tank. Uh, this thing actually operates. We drive it, we shoot the guns on it. It's, re it's really a lot of fun. So how loud is this when it goes off? Well, it's loud enough that when you, even when you know it's coming, you're still going to jump. Well, learning about this tank has been a blast, but what else do you have in this hangar? Well, we got a lot more to see, so let's go take a look. Sounds good. All right. This is our P-51 Mustang, kind of our pride of our fleet, and it's getting ready for an upcoming event. So the crew's working hard, getting it ready to go. Uh, we, we maintain them, we also restore them, so we have a few restorations going on. Here's one over here I would like to show you. This is one of our restoration projects. This is a Stearman. Most of our volunteers are working on this project. Every museum needs volunteers. That's kind of the lifeblood. We always need more volunteers, but we got a lot of projects for volunteers to work with. Well, here's another hangar full of airplanes, and behind us is the F4U Corsair. It's one of the top Navy fighters of World War II. Uh, a lot of people remember it from the show Bob Bob Black Sheep. But before we wrap it up, let me show you one more little surprise I got for you. I'm excited. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> well, I've taken a tour of the Kavanaugh Flight Museum in Addison, and now I'm about to take a tour of the skies. Back to you, Candace. In addition to tours, the Kavanaugh Flight Museum also offers birthday parties, weddings, and other events. For more information and to plan your visit, go to KavanaughFlightMuseum.com. Time for a break, but when we return, we'll tell you how some people are getting relief from their bronchitis from a balloon. Stay with us. At New York Bariatric Center, we offer a comprehensive approach to weight loss. Support for emotional, behavioral, and nutritional changes are emphasized in addition to expert surgical care. One surgery does not fit all. Dr. Hodges and I are both board certified surgeons with proven track records in every type of weight loss surgery. We know this is an important decision and look forward to helping you start your journey. Contact New U Bariatric Center for your consultation today. A new you is waiting. Hi, I'm Dr. Pedro Laredo. Have you ever thought about how many times you use your hands each day? If you're suffering from hand pain, numbness, tingling, then you're probably suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome. At the Laredo Hand Care Institute, we use the most advanced minimally invasive techniques to help you get back to work and your daily activities quickly, because your hands are important. Give us a call today to schedule a consultation so we can eliminate your hand pain for good. Call 214-790-7602 today or check us out at LaredoHands.com. This segment of Today with Candace is brought to you by BestTalksNetwork.com.
Connecting doctors who are changing lives with patients looking for life-changing results. Welcome back. While colon cancer is the third leading cause of cancer-related death in the U.S., thanks to advanced treatment technology and early detection, the number of deaths has been dropping steadily for years. As Dr. Abby Odin explains, catching the cancer before it fully develops is key to fighting it. Colon cancer is a common disease that afflicts several thousand of people in this country in the order of about 142, 143,000 uh, a year. Fortunately, this disease can be prevented. There are a couple reasons why I decided to get a screening for a colonoscopy. My brother, when he was 18, had um, a bleeding polyp, and so it runs in our family. But I work in the recovery room and I have recovered a lot of patients that have come in and they were bleeding or had other issues and they find out that some of them do have colon cancer. A majority of patients that develop colon cancer uh, do not have any identifiable risk factors. Because we do know that majority of colon cancer starts from a benign precancerous lesions, which takes several years to become cancerous, uh, which provides us unique opportunity to intervene and uh, identifying these lesions and having them removed during colonoscopy so as to prevent uh, colon cancer. This has been documented in several studies uh, and observation as well that um, removing polyps that are potentially precancerous does prevent colon cancer. Unfortunately though, it is estimated by about 40 to 42 million Americans who are eligible still have not been screened uh, today. It was a relief in my mind and so well worth getting the colonoscopy because um, now I know that I am clean and cancer free with no polyps at this point and I will come back in five years and have it done again just to make sure that there are no polyps or anything that can cause cancer. It really is, it saves your life. Early detection saves your life. Our next story is about Gary, who suffered from severe sinus problems and bronchitis for much of his life. Fortunately, Gary found ear, nose, and throat specialist Tim Ragsdale and the relief he had been searching for. So I had two, two issues going on. One was sinus pain all the time, and then I would have bronchitis every three months, on the day, every three months. For 32 years, I dealt with the pain. It was pain and then bronchitis, and I would get bronchitis four times a year. Um, and, and again, I could peg when it was going to happen. I was going to my primary care physician for the last oh, five years or so, and we tried everything. Um, antibiotics, we've tried Claritin, over-the-counter stuff all the time, and it just wasn't getting any better. And so my primary care physician said, hey, why don't you go and see Dr. Ragsdale? Many patients would benefit from the balloon sinuplasty procedure. The ones that were usually recommending a procedure are the ones that are having several infections per year or someone that has chronic sinus problems where they always have pain and pressure. So Dr. Ragsdale recommended um, the balloon sinuplast and asked me to do some research and asked me what I feel comfortable with it and, and I did and, and I did. When we uh, use the balloon procedure, it's all done on a uh, monitor with a, a scope. It's the only thing in the nose. It shows uh, the anatomy on a, on a large screen. Uh, we then use a guide to guide the lighted guide wire into the sinuses. Uh, once the light is in the sinus, it glows, so we know that we're in the right place. Uh, we then can advance the balloon. Once the balloon's in the proper position, we inflate the balloon for a few seconds. Uh, at that point, the uh, sinus opening has been dilated. It, it creates a long-lasting opening. The, the bones of the sinuses are actually expanded, so we're not just dilating swollen tissue. Once uh, we've finished with the dilation, we'll go ahead and irrigate the sinus with saline, and then we remove the balloon and go to the next sinus. 
I have not had bronchitis once. I don't have the sinus headaches at all. I don't dread getting on the plane. Um, I don't have to suck down Sudafed six times a day. Um, so things are really, really cool. I play golf. I love golf. I love being in the outside. I no longer dread which golf course I can go to. I don't have to plan ahead and be sure there's not pollen for the day, etc. It is really awesome. If you'd like to learn more about Doctors Abby Odin and Ragsdale, head over to bestdocsnetwork.com. While you're there, you can also find the best doctors in several different areas of practice. Time for our last break, but when we return, world famous talent coach Linda Septian and one of her students join me to talk about what it takes to become a pop star and all the programs the Septian Group offers to young artists. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Jim Knox, and a lot of people have asked me, hey, what do you do away from the ballpark? Well, I am co-founder of a company called Identity Media Services. Our Emmy award-winning production team can brand your company with videos, commercials, radio, and television, and our digital performance program specializes in lead generation, websites, and reputation management. So if your business needs a lift, give me a call, because as you know, it is tough to stay on top. Whew, that's gotta hurt. In an emergency, your most important need is time. Time saved in the hands of highly trained doctors and experienced emergency nurses. Time saved with advanced imaging and diagnostics to help find a solution quickly. No matter what hour or day, we are here for you. Because when your life is on the line, what matters most is time. Texas General Hospital, we care. At New You Bariatric Center, we offer a comprehensive approach to weight loss. Dr. Brewer and I are both board certified surgeons and we've performed several thousand bariatric procedures. We also offer medical weight loss options as well as non-surgical options such as the gastric balloon. We know that this is a big decision for you and we are here every step of the way in your weight loss journey. At New You Bariatric Center, a new you is waiting. Pop stars like Jessica Simpson, Selena Gomez, and Demi Lovato are household names these days, but they wouldn't be if not for our next guest. Linda Septian is the president and CEO of the Septian Group and has coached over 15,000 students in her 25 plus years of developing artists. She joins me now along with a current student of hers, Annika Sawant. Hi ladies, thanks for Hi. being here. Thank you for asking us. If you would start off by talking to us about the Septian Group, what all you guys do, and how you work to develop talent. It's a complete artist development facility. We have about 15,000 square feet and we just, we focus more on careers, right? Things that it's not just by the voice lesson or by stage presence or time gestures or choreography or interviews. It's the whole path of where a career would go for a singer, okay. especially, but they all become musicians because they have to also learn instruments and songwriting. So it's a, it's a career choice when they come to us. Wow, that's amazing. And I understand that you guys also offer summer camps, is that right? We do, our summer camps are a little different in that the same thing they, have to uh, learn to record, they have to learn to sing in front of the other campers, and so it's a real test of ability to get to know uh, how to not have stage fright or not sure. how to just sing on a, a $8,000 mic, you know, so we do a lot of that, but we, what the best thing is is that we bring in people who have been there before who have made it, so this time we have a guy named Trevor Douglas that he just gave a TED talk, he's you know 18 years old, and he made uh, made it as a finalist of American Idol. So okay. he's gonna come in and kind of give back. He did a, a whole story on creativity and how creativity is so important for all ages. So we're gonna let him kind of um, tell everybody how to get that creativity and exude uh, what you need to be in any industry, any industry. How fun, mm -hmm. what a great experience. Yeah. And Annika, how long have you been attending this school? 
Um, I've been attending it for about four years now. Wow, do you love it? Yes, um, it really helps me like grow and learn. And I, I really like all my teachers because they like give me feedback on what I can do better and um, it really helps me. Oh, well, that's wonderful. And do you play any instruments? Uh, yes, I play the violin. Wonderful, that's great. And Linda, how important is it that you develop the students based on their age and not pushing them too soon, too fast, or too, you know, earlier right. than what yeah. they're ready for? They don't have adult larynxes. So the, the only thing that scares me about our industry is that a lot of people that don't understand medically the voice and how it works on kids pre-puberty and post-puberty mm -hmm. and during puberty, um, which we talk about pretty openly, because it changes your voice, you know, will really grow twice the amount. Wow. And so you have to learn how to house that. And so if you push a child's voice, you will definitely ruin it. So, that's <laughs> so you have to know what you're doing with puberty voices, but we talk. So they're already using their larynx, so it's not like it's an old wives' tale that you shouldn't start young, but it is very true, you better do it correctly. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you ladies so much for being with us You're today. Welcome. It was thank great you. having you. If you'd like to learn more about the Septian Group and the programs they offer, please visit their website at theseptiangroup.com. Earlier today, Annika was kind enough to perform a song for us, so as we leave you today, please enjoy this special performance. Thanks for watching. Something moved me deep inside Don't know what you did, boy, but you had it And I've been hooked ever since Told my mother, my brother, my sister, and my friends Told the others, my lovers, for past and present sense That every time I see you, everything starts making sense Do your thing, honey Ain't you the man I can't stand I'm next to you Ain't no other man on the planet Does what you do You're the kind of guy A girl finds in a blue moon You got soul, you got class You got style, and you got class Ain't no other man, it's true Ain't no other man but you Never thought I'd be alright No, no, no So you came and changed my life Yeah, yeah, yeah What was cloudy now you're the light that I needed You got what I want, boy, and I want it So keep on giving it up Tell your mother, your brother, your sister, and your friends Tell the others, your lovers, but not be present in. Cause I want everyone to know that you are mine and no one else is Ain't no other man can stand I'm next to you Ain't no other man on the planet does what you do You're the kind of guy a girl finds in a blue moon You got soul, you got class, you got style, and you got sass Ain't no other man, it's true Ain't no other man but you Bring it down now. Ain't no other, ain't, ain't no other, other Ain't no other, ain't, ain't no other lover Ain't no other, I, I, I need no other Ain't no other man but you oh, You are the one I'm amazed Talk me down from every lane Give me strength or you're the best You're the only one that's ever passed every test Yeah, 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 yeah Ain't no other man can stand I'm next to you the man on the planet does what you do. You're the kind of guy who grows vines in a blue moon. You got soul, you got class, you got style, and you got sex. Ain't no other man, it's true. Ain't no other man but you. Wardrobe for today with Candace provided by Dillard's The Style of Your Life.